Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a plaid nail design. I've already prepped and primed my nails. I have a peel off base coat on as well, but now I'm gonna go in with some LGM Pro rubber base. I'm gonna apply this to all five fingers and cure that in the lamp for about 45 seconds. I'm using Unagella's Full Cover Coffin Tips for this nail design. I love these nail tips. They are such great quality. They're extremely affordable. They're on Amazon. You can get them in just a couple of days. They're pre-etched already for easy application. If you're looking for a gel tip that lasts long, is durable, and is great quality, I recommend these 10 out of 10. I'm taking some of that rubber base, applying a thin layer right at the cuticle, and then a little bit extra at the cuticle area, putting this on at a 45 degree angle, flash carrying under my gooseneck lamp for about 10 to 15 seconds, just to hold it in place. If you have any of that rubber base that's sticking to your finger, just gently push your skin away from it before it fully cures. This lamp is such a game changer when applying gel tips. It's just so easy to work with. It's flexible. I can move it wherever I want. I can see what I'm doing. I can make little tiny adjustments. So if you don't have a gooseneck lamp like this when applying gel tips, you just need to get one because this just makes the process so much easier, so much faster, and the whole thing just goes through a lot smoother. And I 100% recommend a gooseneck lamp to apply these. Once those are on, I do recommend a full cure and a big lamp for 60 seconds to ensure everything is secure. I'm gonna take my hand file and do a little bit of filing, not really a lot that you have to do here, but there's that little sharp piece when you're using gel tips at the very tip of the nails, you wanna file that off. I'm also gonna take my buffing block and buff up the surface since we're doing a gel polish design. And then I'm gonna take my e-file and my sanding band and just go around the cuticle area to make that a little more flush and a little more professional looking. Taking some rubbing alcohol on my brush here and I'm just going to go around my cuticle area and also underneath my nail to remove all the dust. For my base layer of polish, I'm gonna be using McCart Gel Polish in the color Ginger. This is a nude yellow color. Now you wanna apply these really thin but also even. I'm only gonna apply one coat of this. McCart polishes are really quite thick so you can get the pigment that you're looking for in just one coat. But I'm going to go over top of this with a different polish to kind of get that more nude color that I was looking for that I didn't really have on hand. I'm using this polish that I got on Amazon. I think it's pronounced Emily, something like that. It's a sheer nude that I'm gonna be applying over top of my other polish. And then I'm gonna cure that in the lamp for a full minute as well. I'm going for another matte look design today. So I'm taking some velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam, applying that to all of my nails and curing in the lamp for a full minute. This is how we're looking after everything has been cured and I'm really, really digging the matte. I think it looks so nice. So we're gonna take some frosting gel paints from Profiles Backstage, the white, red, and black. Now these are non-wipe, so if you just wanted to apply these over polish and cure in the lamp, you could technically be done with it. You wouldn't have to apply top coat since they already leave like a glossy finish to it. So for the plaid design, you're first gonna go in with a strip of white. 
You want the white part to be a little bit thick because we're going to go in and add details in black lines onto the white. You need them thick to add at least three lines in there. I'm carrying in between each nail, each layer, each color. You want to cure for at least a minute. When using gel paints, they are a thicker quality. If you flash cure, you might experience wrinkling. And let me tell you, that is really frustrating because you'll have to go in and take off the polish and start over. So I do recommend a full cure before moving on to another layer or another color, just to make sure it's fully cured and you don't need to start over. Once the white has been applied and fully cured, I'm gonna go in with my black now, and I'm just gonna basically trace out what I've already done here. I'm applying black on each side of the white lines, and then there's gonna be a black line down the center. You're gonna to wanna to make these as straight as possible because that is what plaid is all about. Plaid is all about the lines. So again, when you're curing in between, then you won't need to start over 100%. You know, like I wouldn't attempt to do all three lines at the same time, unless you're just really good at doing straight lines but I would do one line, I would fix it until it was really straight and I was happy with it. Then I would do the next line after I had cured all those. So just work in steps, it'll be a lot easier that way, even though it might take a little bit more time, but it'll be a lot easier to get each line to how you want it to look without having to start over again. I'm going in with this red color. Now this is what I had on hand. If you don't like this color, if you feel like this is more of a Christmassy color design, I would replace it with maybe an army green or even like a burnt orange, chocolate brown, something like that. I think those would be all great color choices to make this more of a fall look that you could wear. Now personally, I feel like this design could be used for either season and it could work for both. It just depends on how you layer it and what you're wearing. Um, so that's why I went with the red plus it was giving more like Burberry, you know, and I feel like Burberry plaid. I don't know. It was like fall design. I don't know This is what I had on hand. So this is what I ended up using But again, if, it, if it's not for you, I would replace it with any of those other colors that I suggested and it would look just as great Now I feel the way that I had left it looks great and you could totally leave it that way. Top coat it with the matte top coat and call it a day. It would have looked amazing. But I wanted to add a little bit more to it so I'm going in with some French tips. So the rest of the nails I'm going to be adding these red French tips and then we're going to add a little bit of bling to spice it up just a little bit more. I'm going in with my Bling It Gel from Nails by Dev or uh, Nail Attic on TikTok. This is a really great quality bling gel. If you're looking for a rhinestone glue that your stuff does not move, this is a great one.
Here is the finished design. I am in love with them. I think they turned out so cute. They look classy, they look chic, and I'm just obsessed with them. I love the plaid design for fall. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this look and if you would rock these nails. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate all of you guys watching my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.